What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Crumbs with a Q. Uh, coming to you with the very first best blade dancer setup. So I put this together because I want people to know what I use for PVP versus PVE because I do use different uh, a different setup for each of those. So I'm gonna go through each one for you today. We're gonna show you what the blade dancer has to offer. So uh, first and foremost, I do put on Mask of the Third Man for the Blade Dancer. If you don't have it um, and Zer brings it, please get it. If you are a Blade Dancer, you are a hunter, get this mask. It is the best thing you will ever use for the Blade Dancer. And it's because of this specific one right here. Arc Blade attacks use less super energy. So you actually have a longer time to use the Blade Dance uh, for any time that you're using it, which is always great. Um, so that's always equipped first. Next, we're gonna go through the actual setup of what I use. So I always use the Flux Grenade. That's just me. The reason why is because it actually sticks to enemies and causes more damage. So uh, if you ever used it, uh, or you haven't used it, whatever you throw it at somebody, if it's in a vicinity, it'll heat seek towards them the last like 10 feet before it gets to them. So if they do move a little bit to the right or left, it can follow that, them strafing and stick to them and kill them. Um, I always use uh, the actual teleport, so the blink. And this is because you can always get around people or away from people without them actually shooting you pretty easily. Uh, for the actual arc blade, I use the wave, uh, the razor's edge, so he throws the wave of destruction across the ground. That's the one I like the best because if someone's in front of you and they have a gun and they're shooting at you from a distance and you can't get to them quick enough, all you gotta do is tap that arc trigger and that wave will get all the way to them and kill them. So that's the easiest way I use it. Uh, the fast twitch, I use reduce the cooldown of the blink strike because uh, I understand that, you know, invisibility is kind of cool. I do get that if you hit him from the back, it's kind of cool. However, um, invisibility goes out once you throw another uh, blink strike out or if you decide to pull your trigger, your invisibility goes away. So to me, that's useless. I like to use this because it comes back every like four seconds. Uh, so you're constantly getting kills. A lot more damage is being put out by your blink strike. Uh, for the actual path unknown, so on PvP, you got to remember player versus player, multiplayer uh, in the crucible. Um, all of these really don't matter at all. It doesn't matter which one you press. Um, so I always use battle recovery and toughness on because when I go to PVE, uh, that's when it kind of matters. This is when your armor and recovery uh, are very, very useful. So I always use path unknown for the actual, uh, the next one over. I like the actual uh, sprint speed and extend slide distance. So I do use this for both of my PvP or PvE. Again, if you like to use the blink strike causes invisibility, I would definitely recommend using increasing the duration of the invisibility effect. That'll definitely help you, especially if you hit them and you back out uh, inside of a bunch of danger, you can get away and be hidden very easily. For the next one, um, I always use focus on toughness at all costs. No matter what, PvE, PvP, no matter it doesn't work in PvP, who cares, I still leave it on because I want to make sure that I have the most armor that I can because as we know, hunters aren't the, the stacked armor person. So we have to use as much toughness as we can inside of that. For the last one, I always use kill enemy with arc blade extends its duration, but I only use this one on PvE. Uh, so the campaign uh, mode of this game, I'll use this. If I'm in the actual, um, on PvP, I will switch down to kills with Arc Blade and Blink Strike, immediately regenerate health. Because with Mask of the Third Man on, I use less super energy. Every time I get a kill, I'm getting my health all the way back up so I don't uh, risk dying after only three kills or something like that. So this is the setup I use for Blade Dancer. I hope you really enjoy it. If you did, please like, comment, or subscribe. YouTube, as usual, we will see you in a later video. We're out.